Okay guys, now this is probably one of the most requested videos I've had over the last few days. Now I do try to read all the comments and I've got a big list of things I'm going to test. So if I've missed anything or haven't done it yet, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to do it. In this video, I wanted to try out the Microsoft Office suite of apps, do some multitasking, a bit of power usage, some big Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, PDFs, all that kind of thing. And this is gonna emulate the workflow of pretty much most people that actually end up purchasing this device. Because you're either gonna be a student or you work at a university or you work in a job that requires a lot of word processing or Excel spreadsheets. And let me just tell you right now, spoiler alert, this is a perfect machine for it. Eight gigabytes is gonna be enough for 95% of people. I'll have that link in the top right hand corner as well if you want to watch that video. And without further ado, let's get started. So what I might mention briefly first is that these versions of the Microsoft apps, although I've only personally downloaded them about two days ago, so they should be up to date. They're not the M1 supported apps. So these guys are actually running off the Rosetta 2. Uh, so they're not actually like natively developed or optimized for M1. So everything you see in this video, take it with a grain of salt because this is essentially a beta version of Office that shouldn't technically work on the Apple Silicon, but obviously with Rosetta 2, it does work. So this is a really cool article I found by Screen Rant. It kind of describes it a little bit more, so I'll try and link that in the description for you. It's probably gonna be out of date in like a day or two, but you know, YOLO. Anyway, we'll close it down. And what I'll do first of all is I'll give you a bit of an idea of what I'm gonna be doing. So I have a few large files up the top here, which I'll discuss. So let me highlight all of them. And I'm gonna get info. So you can see these particular files here, they're pretty big. So I've got 547 pages of Lorem Ipsum text, and that's a Word document. I have a 41 megabit sample data Excel spreadsheet. Uh, that doesn't have formulas in it, it's just data. I've also got a 5 million sales record row Excel spreadsheet, which is 107.5 megabyte. So that thing's an absolute beast. Uh, look guys, if you're running spreadsheets at work that are over 100 megabytes in size, like it's time to move to something else. Do like a SQL database or something. Uh, and then if we go over here, we've got a medical PDF. So for university students or for doctors or for nurses or for you know people doing engineering at uni or whatever, I know when I was at uni, I had to download all of these ridiculously large PDFs. So this particular one is 30 megabytes in size. And then we've got a PowerPoint file, which is 40 megabytes. And I'm actually gonna be opening this up twice. So it's over here as well. This also contains videos in the PowerPoint as well as some 4K footage, some font, uh, some, some 3D shapes, all that good stuff. And then finally, we've got a, another 547 pages of Lorem Ipsum. Uh, I think this is the actual Word document. I think I was looking at the PDF before, uh, but they're both pretty much the same thing. Now, in the background, I'll be doing additional multitasking. So I'm gonna have all of the Microsoft Office apps open. I'm also gonna have Spotify, and I'm also going to have many, many Google Chrome tabs open, uh, playing YouTube videos on Reddit, online shopping, I'm gonna have at least 20 tabs open. Now, what I might just show you before I start opening up tabs and all that kind of good stuff is this particular file here, which is the 5 million rows sales record Excel spreadsheet. So if we get the info up again, you can see again, this is 107 megabits in size. So that's pretty big. So we'll open up activity monitor on the left. And this is just gonna stay up throughout the entire video. Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm just recording the screen on my camera and not using any kind of program to record the screen, I know it doesn't look as great on the camera, but this lets me do the test as purely as possible because this is exactly how you guys are gonna be using it. I've got nothing plugged in, there's no battery, no external hard drives, it is just the laptop and me recording the screen. So we'll leave that over to the side and we'll open up the Excel spreadsheet. So you can see that loaded pretty quickly. I'm very, very happy with that. Now, like I said before, there's nothing too crazy in this spreadsheet. There's no tables or VLOOKUPs or formulas or pivot tables or anything like that. It's literally just data, but again, like it's five 
million sales records. There is a lot of stuff here. And this Mac just opened up in about 10 seconds on a non-optimized version of software. So let's leave that there for the time being. And let's also go in here, open up some of these PowerPoints just to see how quickly they open. So that was really quick. This other one, the second PowerPoint, that was really quick. Uh, I've got a 41 megabyte file here with some Excel data and some formulas and stuff. That was very quick as well. And then inside this particular, I believe this is around 100,000 rows. So if we come here and we sort, and we add that by a filter, and then we can do, see that works straight away, no issues at all. We can select, I believe these are counties in the US. That works absolutely no issues at all. And then we'll open up the medical PDF. Again, this is over 30 megabits in size. 547 pages of lorem ipsum, and that is a Word document, opens up straight away. No issues scrolling through all the way down through all of the pages. And then we've got the PDF of that same Word document. By the way, I'll show you this as well. It actually saves very, very quickly. So if I save this as a PDF, This works very quickly. Actually, we'll save it as the second one, we'll export. So again, like this is 550 pages and it's doing it fairly quickly. It'll be done any second now. And there we go, that is done. Okay, so that is pretty much all that we're gonna have open. So I don't think anyone's gonna have anything more than that open. So what we'll do as well is we're gonna make sure we have all of the other apps open. So Outlook, let's open that up. We'll minimize that. And we will also open up OneNote. And we'll just have that running in the background. And then I've also got all of my Google Chrome tabs ready to go. All 26 tabs of them. And I'll be adding a few more on during the video. So what we're gonna do now is like I did in my previous video, I'm just gonna have Activity Monitor sitting in the top left hand corner of the screen so you can see everything now right now we're already using six gigabytes but i can tell you right now i've experienced no slowdowns there's no issues at all so let me do 10 minutes of some pretty intense multitasking i'll get back to you i'll also load up spotify in the background i forgot to do that before and we'll start playing some music and streaming Cool, okay, all right. So give me 10 minutes, pay attention to this side of the screen. I'll be switching between the RAM, uh, the memory and the CPU tab uh, relatively often so you can get an idea. But just before I start, this is what we're coming back with. So about 85 to 90% of the CPU is idle. And then memory wise, again, we're using, you can see how the Mac automatically adjusts it there. So it actually detects apps you're not using very, very well and very intelligently. So look, give me 10 minutes to do some extreme multitasking and I'll come back to you. Keep an eye on the activity monitor.
Okay, so that is probably enough. That's been a good 10 minutes or so. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna briefly discuss what I found during that 10 minutes. Now, again, just absolutely zero issues with doing anything. Uh, I like to think I was using this thing pretty hard. Like I, I literally couldn't think of anything else to do or anything else to have open in the background. And I never ever had any issues with loading or you know the spinning wheel of death, the beach ball of death. Uh, just, just no issues at all. So I'll actually show you now what I've got open. So if we go into Google Chrome, so I had a couple of videos here playing in 4K in the background. Um, so I'll close all of these down. A couple more videos here, YouTube videos, Google Drive folders, uh, multiple, multiple, multiple Reddit tabs with media in the tabs. Um, we had some Googling, some news articles, some shopping, some more Googling, some more YouTube. So I was about 30 to 35 tabs all up. Uh, I took a, I downloaded a 4K image. It was doing a little bit of silly editing in uh, preview there. So we'll close that down as well. Medical PDF doing some highlighting. Again, this was like 40 megabytes in size. Uh, the spreadsheets that were between 40 to 100 megabytes each. And uh, the Lorem Ipsum document. And you can actually see how quickly these are all shutting down. Uh, and then we had this um, PowerPoint file with over 200 slides, including 4K images loaded into the slides and also videos at the start here, which were several minutes long. And you can see they play uh, straight away with any issues. And if we shut this down, shuts down straight away. Another PowerPoint, shut it down emails shut that down straight away spotify huge excel folder file i should say gone pdf gone powerpoint word onenote and chrome so there you have it guys i hope that answers your question if you are looking to do pretty much anything microsoft office suite related this Mac is going to do the job for you. I think really the only place you run into issues is if you had like 10 or 20 massive Excel spreadsheets open and you had like 50 to 60 tabs of Chrome while doing all that other stuff as well, then you might start to see some issues. But then again, like the eight gigabyte memory on the Macs, it's not a typical eight gigabytes of RAM that you might get in a Windows computer. It's been designed so well and it's so fast that it just makes light work of almost anything. So I think all but the most hardcore of users are gonna be fine with eight gigabytes. And I just, again, don't think it's worth upgrading to the 16 gigabytes unless you're a really heavy power user. Or, you know, if you've got the money, you want a future-proof your device, go for it. But apart from that, totally fine. And again, just to touch on the Microsoft apps, these aren't even optimized for the M1. These are all running on Rosetta 2. So like I said before, they're basically in beta stage. Anyway, apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you want me to test specifically, let me know. But apart from that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.